Yes. Now, in our old designs, we use piezoelectric material to transfer the motion. Uh, my name is Yoon Ho Cha, representing South Korea at the Asian Science Camp 2019. From this camp, I'm look very looking forward to listening to the Nobel Prize lecturers and other uh, emerging scientists lecturers, learning what they are doing you know, over their lifetime, what they have done over their lifetime, and uh, what they have to say to the future generation, which is us. I expected this to be, to, to be an experience where I learn new knowledge from different people all over the world and also to be an experience where I can share my ideas as well. I learned that even though we're all from like different parts of the world, like Israel, Russia, Pakistan, Australia, we, I learned that we all have similar interests, and we also share the same beliefs and ideas, so I think that's a very good experience here. Uh, it's very helpful for scientists to sit in front of us and speak freely and answer our questions, what we have, any question. I think that's a very good opportunity to not only get to know the scientists away from lectures, uh, but by answering our questions, our you know, personal curiosities, I think it's very good opportunity. If they don't, they don't. However, if you don't take it, when they give the problem of the uh, Professor Thomas Chung, I actually was so inspired by the fact that he invented artificial cells I also used to have a, my, my own dream in, when I was young to artificially try to photosynthesize, photosynthesize how to find an artificial way to photosynthesize in plants. Um, and he, you know, he found how to make an artificial cell when he was an undergraduate, when he was in university, which is me right now. So personally, he was the most, for me, inspiring scientist. I learned that People who have the same interests also have like same personalities, so it's really easy to make friends. And also, since we, if we make friends here, later on if we grow up, we become like scientists or like doctors or similar field, we can actually get back together and work together as a team again. The cultural background I've experienced is not big of a challenge, actually. I thought it would be a challenge if you know different backgrounds working together like Asian background and Western background thinking differently but that wasn't much of an issue I think it's all depending on the person I would introduce China as one of the most advanced countries in the world as well as really culturally diverse it's not just Chinese culture here there's also like like Western culture also like Eastern like East Asia kind of thing and also the people here are super nice so if I would tell other people that if they have a chance to come to China, try to uh, like be close to as many like Chinese people as possible. So it's going to make new friends. I think it's very long history. Uh, it's very long history. I think is most attractive. Second most attractive, I think, is food. <laughs> I think food is very attractive. Um, and the relationship between culture, education, and the scientific uh, development. I think there is a relationship between culture and education, I guess. I know China holds a very high respect for teachers, and education is equally uh, regarded as very high and very important. I think the most valuable memory is the poster, the group work, because we chose a topic that none of us knew about. And then as together from people all over the world, we kind of got together and finished the poster, which I think was a really great accomplishment in a short time. I didn't expect us to work so well. <laughs> I expected a lot of disagreement, a lot of loud voices. We always finish within an hour of brainstorming and we're, we always smile when we come out. And I think Oh, we work very well, our group works very well, and we're very happy with whatever idea comes out. There's no disagreement. Um, if there is, there's, we find a way to uh, entertain both ideas. So I think 
think that was very interesting.